y'all, this is um, Betsy and Tony Luker, and, and um, I found out about them because of the Saturday sauce that that I'm gonna tell you about in just a minute. And uh, and they run this great convenience store called the Jefferson Country Store, but but the store is not the story. The the story really is the history of the store and and all that's gone into it. And Betsy, it was your it's your family. Yeah. That's the Compton family. That's the Compton's. Yeah. Tell, Tell us about that, if you will. Uh, Mr. Compton built this store in 1957, and from what I'm told, it, it was kind of a hobby for him. Uh, it was somewhere that he could sit around and talk about fox hunting and that kind of thing. Uh, quite different from the way it is now. I'm told that he would open mid-morning, uh, close a little later mid-morning, and, and go home and have lunch and a snack and pretty good nap, and then come back in the afternoon and talk some more hunting. So the, the convenience was more for him than it was the for the public. The convenience was yeah. for him. It, it definitely was not about serving lunch. He said, lunch he's, was his break. He sounds like my kind of guy. Actually. I know. Yeah. And, and so that that approach, though, has kind of held on. We, we have a busy lunch crowd most days of the week, uh, but we have the afternoon visitors, too, that come in, and every now and then, this chair is a good nap spot. I got uh, you. For for a few of them. So, and, and some of those guys have been coming in here since then. You know, they've, they've spent all their lives here. So if there's some weary travelers who are headed to the beach, they might just stop in here and borrow a rocking chair for a, a, a quick power nap. Actually, we'd feed them first, get yeah. them really full, and then they'd need a nap. That's right. Uh, we yeah. have people ask for a cot every day. So Tony gave us some, uh, I mean, some fantastic barbecue. And so tell us just a little bit about what the, the menu is, if you will. Tony, want to tell about your menu? Yeah, we do a uh, hamburger, cheeseburger, barbecue sandwich, fried bologna, which is hand cut, off the chub, thick, dressed to the nines. We do on weekends, we do ribs, leg quarters, chopped pork, plates, with baked beans, coleslaw, potato salad, do some pigtails. We may have on um, now it's getting chicken salad and pimento cheese. We start making it. The main, mostly it's burgers and barbecue, you know, chopped pork and the fried bologna and the and, hot ham and cheese has really been a big hit. And I just want to make sure everybody understands we're not you're not buying this off the Cisco truck, are you? No, we're it, buying local. And that was one of our missions is to buy local because we're just a small mom and pop and we want other vendors we try to promote local made goods, you know, that's made in Ringo County, local in Alabama. But we buy local because they shop with us, so that's, that's what it's all about. Okay, so Tony, you just said something real interesting that a lot of people who are going to be watching are scratching their head about. So first you said fried bologna. Now I was actually, we were at the Starkville Cafe this morning and they had fried bologna on the menu. But there's a lot of folks who are watching this that ain't ever heard of fried bologna. So tell us about that. This fried bologna, it comes in a seven pound chub and we cut it a generous thick portion. So if you have a cardiologist appointment, don't eat a fried bologna sandwich before you go. <laughs> but we put it on a griddle, dress it to the nines and it's you know burnt black. Fried bologna is the only meat that tastes better burnt. And it is fantastic too. It's I love fantastic. a fried bologna it sandwich. Cheese on it. It just—I think it takes people back to you know when they were a kid or younger, growing up on bologna or going to their grandmother's house or and that's you know eating bologna and it just brings them back. So it's like a childhood memory. All right, and now something I've never had that you mentioned was pigtails. So tell us about that. The pigtails, you know, I guess people think it's a squiggly tail, but it's not. It's like a rib, and they're really good. We do a lot of those and smoke them on the grill, put that sarge sauce on them. If you don't watch out, you'll bite your fingers, they're so good. <laughs> you got any today, we might eat one. Not today, we'll do some more this weekend. Um, most of just chopped pork and during the first part of the week and on the latter part of the week and weekends, we do the ribs and everything. Mm -hmm. else. real barbecue sandwich you always got to put pickles on it and your sauce should be in the meat not on top of it and I don't know what kind of sauce Tony's using here but it's pretty light and it's, it's it doesn't overwhelm the sandwich 
So you get the full flavor of the meat too, it's fantastic. Isn't that right, Kate? So Tony, he makes his own sauce. And so I asked him, I said, tell me about this sauce real quick. Yeah, this is our Saturday sauce. We started making it, uh, putting on the meat in the store. And I guess about two or three years ago, we started balling it up. Um, it's not as fancy as it sounds. It's made and bottled in Jefferson, Alabama at Jefferson Country Store. It's uh, really good. I put a piece on a boot the other day. It was really good. <laughs> was that a, a, a leather Wolverine boot or a cowboy boot? Cowboy boot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this sauce is so good. We had a guy come in. He bought a Milo's tea and a bottle of Saturday sauce, opened the Saturday sauce, drunk half of it down, washed it, washed it with Milo's. I said, we're gonna be okay. All right, Saturday that's sauce. good. So how, if somebody wants some, can they get, will you ship it or you gotta come to the store to buy it? Yeah, they can uh, get on Facebook or call us and we will ship it out. And how would they call you? What number do they um, call you? 334-289-0040. Uh, go on Jefferson uh, Country Store on Facebook and check us out. Uh, order some Saturday sauce. Y'all ever cook chicken's feet here? I've never cooked the chicken's feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Nor have I eaten one. Pig feet? Uh, I have boiled pig ears. I've been like, yeah. boiled pig ears and cooked them on a grill. I have a pig ear sandwich. Yeah. The pickled pig foot is, is the delicacy around here. Yeah. Usually in a jar and probably out right now, but big jar of pink juice that smells pretty nasty. Yeah. Occasionally, you know, we've had ears. And we've done the pickled snouts before. Pickled eggs? Pickled, pickled lips. eggs, for sure. Pickled pig lips. Yeah, hair included. Oh, yeah, no, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> like there's, there's no refining there. They yeah. call the little eggs on rooster bullets. Little yeah. Oh, I tried, God. one time I got the girls to eat deer testicles just once. No. They, they wouldn't do it again. You killed your first deer. Right. You know, a chicken liver is probably about that. That's, that's, as, about as, far as, that's as exotic as you're gonna get. Yeah. Yeah. I think to the you know the store when it was closed that year, you know it's not a big community here. We really, we really felt it. And that's why that's why it was important to get open and back open. And we see a lot of people that come in and several times. They'll bump into each other, haven't seen each other in 30 years, 40 years. It's a guy that uh, was here last week. He had saw his daughter about five years. And she did a order, and he was here. So it's yeah. like you know, it's you know, it's just uh, all the little small things like that makes you know, makes it special. You know, it's, it's so much of that happens, and the generosity of people show here, like buying people lunch or paying it forward. You know, you see it so much. You know, here it's just it's just a good good feeling. That, you know, they're still good in the world. You just don't hear about as much. We try to promote it. Yeah, just a little thing, a happy place here. Yeah, I think another good thing about, you know, just seeing the different people that come in from all walks of life, not just local, but from England, Paris, from all over. And I think they're really trying to get away from the concrete jungle and hustle and bustle. Because New Jefferson they come here and kind of time stands still. And it's just, you know, the sales service ain't good, which is a good thing if you want to get away from everything. It's, you know, it's just people are trying to get back to, I think, you know, the basic time and just like a glass coat that reminds them they come in and, you know, put the peanuts in it. And it's, just, it's just a, you know, step back in time and get away from everything. And yeah. also, you know, we've had several homeschool trips. So if anybody watching that wants to bring their kids for a little history lesson or a, a field trip, come to Jefferson Country Store. And we've got a you know, full history and full of stuff to look at. And definitely be a trip home. Um, I, I, folks, I bet if you let Tony know ahead of time that you're bringing your homeschool class, he'll even cook up some good pig's tail. Sure so I notice that everybody that comes in, you call them by their first name. Um, it, it, it seems to me that um, you don't have customers, you just have extended family members. That's right. Um, you know, there'll be people that I see in town at the grocery store or something that I haven't seen in 10, 15, 20 years, maybe since I was a kid, and they'll call me by name because they, they know me from here. Or if I think hard enough, I'll remember that I haven't seen them that long or they've moved back, something like that. I'll tell yeah, we're, we're family. we got to look out for each other. And uh, people look out for us, we look out for them, and, and that's, 
That's what we're here for. Robin knows it. I'm here. Robin, Robin's part of the family. Rob, Robin, <laughs> Robin, can I film you? Tell, if I got two, you got two. Tell, that's, that's my friend Bess and that's my friend Tony. I love Jefferson store. <laughs> how long how long have you been shopping here, Rob? Oh wow, man. How long, Bessie? 10, 12 years, I guess. At least. <laughs> At longer. least. Yeah. Yeah. Longer. It's a family store. Everybody loves them. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I can see that. Thank, Thank you. See you, Rob. Take right. care. Call a dog with no legs. What? It doesn't matter if you're coming to you no way. All right, so if nothing else, look, you come down here to Jefferson store, and you're going to get good food, you're going to get good company, and Tony's going to tell you some really good jokes, And get too. some Saturday sauce. That's right, and you get some Saturday sauce.